Dallas police call it a cruel, unprovoked attack on a homeless man. It's the focus of this week's trackdown. The man survived the assault, including being stabbed. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has surveillance video provided by police that does not show the violence, though, and images of the people detectives say did this from their own Facebook Live video. So, I'm with Detective Brody Bag From their own Facebook Live video. So similar to our other guy, the other son man we covered earlier, black people recording themselves doing devious things and putting them on the internet. We're in East Dallas, the 7-Eleven at 1885 John West. Detective, what happened here? Just what? Thursday night, Friday night? Yes, sir, Thursday night. Um, so there was a, a homeless individual that was here that had gone inside and purchased something, and he was standing outside of the store when a group of about five um, individuals, two black... He paused. <laughs> he paused and thought about the word he was going to use. <laughs> you have to ask, though, when once you heard what happened, once you heard it was a violent attack on a homeless guy, unprovoked, and it was recorded and put to Facebook. Like, it was like a hundred percent chance that that was a son. It couldn't have been, you know, you say brown, Hispanics do it. Too. That had to have been a son. And five of them, too. In a group of about five um, individuals, two black males and three black females, came out of the store and approached him. Um, they began threatening him and taunting him. Um, they threw bottles at him, um, threw trash at him, hit him with the lid of the trash can, and at uh, one point they ended up producing, producing a knife and they stabbed him two times. Um, we had found a, uh, a, a Facebook video that showed the faces of the suspects. So they did like a Facebook Live or yes, something? Yes, they did a Facebook Live. We have four suspects that have, we have pretty good pictures of their face. One, we couldn't get a picture. <laughs> God. They should have laid with the pictures first, but she. Yeah, if they if they if, if they show us every night like this on the news, man, they'd get tired of us. <laughs> Like, if they start the news off like this, like, this showing the faces, like, showing, like, the mug shots, I think this would, like, this, like, they, this is get the gliders to blind. You know what, man? Fuck this, man. <laughs> That's why they made them illegal in San Francisco. Yeah. I mean, and these are not pictures, like, from their, like, Facebook. This is pictures from the actual night. This is the faces they were making that night. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, man. My God. Pieces of the suspects. So they did like a Facebook Live or yes, something? Yes, they did a Facebook Live. We have four suspects that have, we have pretty good pictures of their face. One we couldn't get a picture of because they four were inside suspects. of the car. So we don't know um, what she looks like. We didn't have a picture of her. The ones you do have, if you know them, will you know them? Yes, sir. That's You'll right. be able to recognize them. What do you need? Um, I need I need names. You know, if you know where they live, phone numbers, anything about these people to help me identify who they are. And he didn't bother them at all. No, he was standing there, very trying to, you know, let them walk away and, and kind of de-escalate the situation. And they just kept pushing him and kept up. Uh, they surrounded him, and at one point they got him on the ground, and all five of them started jumping him, and punching him, kicking him. And, and then they uh, took off and they fled in two vehicles. It went on for almost 10 minutes where they kind of were assaulting and messing with this guy um, for no reason other than he was here. Um, and it really was just kind of nah. really hard to watch on the video. He, did, he asked for I'm money. That's what the problem was. And going while this happened? Yes, sir. Certainly no one. <laughs> he asked him for some money. That's what that, the problem was right there. If we don't be playing that shit. He asked for some money, and then we we just took advantage of the whole situation. Get your bum ass out of here. Fuck around with your ass. Get your... You know how that shit go, man. Start throwing shit. Get your ass out of here, you fucking fiend. Yeah, but what if a cop... Well, yeah, they're not afraid of cops or something. Yeah, I want to say we ain't afraid of cops. Cops. <laughs> <laughs> no 
one intervened and no one called 911? No, sir. But you need someone to call you now? Yes, sir. How can folks reach Detective Brody Bass? So they can call me on my cell phone or text me, 214-676-0548, um, or they can email me at brody.bags at dallaspolice.gov. Recognize these faces? Get at Detective Brody Bags. Help bring these people to justice who attacked a homeless man here at 1885 John West. All right, thank you both. And you can watch past track. Damn. Shit. I like how they're selective about when they want to use like race. Because they could have said yeah. a black homeless man with these black fucking hooligans and shit. But if it was a white guy, or a white team doing to a fucking black homeless guy to be like these fucking Eight white people. charges are pending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. Jesus Christ, man. These people. 